Hey everybody, J.D. Ritchie here from fishwithjd.com. I'm a full-time fishing guide in the Sacramento Valley, Lake Tahoe, Alaska. I get around. Anyway, I just got done fishing. I just washed the boat out. And one of the tips I wanted to throw at you is how to take care of your fish. And this seems like such a simple thing, but a lot of people ignore it or don't know how to do it properly. And as a fishing guide, I really feel like it's my responsibility to take care of those fish, to respect the fish that we're killing, and also respect my clients to make sure that they have a great product when they get home. And it's real simple to do. Typically, you'll see a lot of guys that throw a fish on a stringer and drag it around in 70 degree water, which is not good. You might as well bring rice because that thing's already cooked. Or they'll throw it in a fish box or a live well with water in it and circulate river water on it. Unless you're fishing in Alaska where the water's freezing, that's not a great plan. So it's very important to do a few steps. And I'll show you what I have here on the boat. First thing I do when a fish comes on board, take out the little bat conk it on the head and that is I think humane just kind of puts the fish out of his misery really quickly he respects the fish again but also it's, it makes it easier to get the hooks out and it keeps the fish from flopping around and bruising meat so second after that we get the hook out take the pictures whatever we need to do I have a carabiner with a lock on it and a rope and that's tied to a cleat that's off the back of my boat I clip that through the gill and out the mouth of the fish and then I will cut the gills on both sides of the fish, open the gill plates, get in there with the red stuff and just take a sharp knife and cut both sides. That way the fish is gonna bleed out. And that's the same thing you would do with a deer or an elk or a cow or anything you're gonna eat. You always bleed them out. That gets all that stuff out of the fishy tasting fish out of the fish. So after that, I'll drag him in the water for just a couple minutes till the blood's all out, take it off the clip. And then the one other thing that's really essential, and I'll show you the other piece of equipment that I have, and uh, you can use a regular cooler. You know, there's a million different brands. I like a soft cooler. It doesn't take up a whole lot of space in my boat. It's insulated, so it's, it's uh, doing the same thing. It's just, uh, it's just more uh, efficient as far as room goes. So I'll put a 20 pound bag of ice in there, and then we put the fish in there after they've been bled out. And then I just make sure I drain the water out, and there's a little drain hole right here. Drain the water out throughout the day so the fish isn't sitting in water. And at the end of the day, what you end up with is a very firm, cold filet. Well, you got to filet them first, but the fish is in great shape when you go to clean it. And therefore, your customers or you get to take it home and it's going to taste the best. So that's a really good way to keep your fish tasting great for uh, when you go on your next trip. And if you want to see more tips from experts like me, go ahead and jump on over to the Sports Expos Facebook page and website. And uh, we will see you at the Expos this winter.